So today then guys what we're going to be doing is talking about safety tips when you are travelling to Benidorm. So just like anywhere else when you go on holiday guys, the main thing that you need to keep an eye out for is pickpockets. Now pickpockets <laughs> are um, everywhere in the world. But a little fact for you. Did you know that Benidorm has the lowest pickpocketing crime rate than London, New York? Yeah, when I even saw that, I was a little shocked myself. So, tip number two, guys, is that, obviously, Benidorm is the number one European um, holiday destination. So, in the summertime, there's going to be a massive crowd. And it's going to be very, very hard to um, get around. <laughs> so, keep aware... Obviously, if your surroundings and everything like, like, just, like I just said, pickpockets are everywhere. But again, you know, it's mostly more in the summertime. So then, money. It is, um, it's best if you actually um, exchange your money while you're still at home. Don't do it while you're over in Spain. The reason being is... Do you know the um, the ATMs that you see? I don't know if, if you've never been to Benidorm, guys. Then you'll see ATMs just on the street, literally everywhere. Do not put your card into any of those machines. Go to an actual bank, like a NatWest or you know Barclays or something like. They have that over there. They have that over in Spain. It's the best thing to do. So another little tip then, guys, is safety in numbers. Okay, what I basically mean by that is, if you if you fortunate if you're fortunate, oh, I can't even speak. If you are fortunate enough to be going with a group of people, okay, then stay together, okay. Not, I aren't saying, you know, make a big fuss about it and this and the other. You are safe, but it's safer in numbers, if you get what I mean. Now, another little tip, guys. Well, not even a tip. It's, um, obviously you go on holiday to, um, to drink. <laughs> Do not walk home or to your hotel on your own. Okay, because when you are drunk there, you know, you can't, you can't fend off a load more people with just one person. It's not a film, okay, guys? One person cannot fight a million people. Another tip, guys, is to not carry unnecessary wealthy items, okay? You're going on holiday. You don't need really expensive you know, watches or clothes, I don't know, well, clothing's clothing, but you don't need really expensive watches or necklaces or anything like that. Leave it all at home, okay? You're going on holiday to relax. You don't need to look, you know, I'm the Mr. Rich person. Stay, leave all that stuff at home. Trust me, if that got lost, you would... You would, yeah, it's not nice. If you've got a, I don't know, a, a £3,000 watch and somebody just next, you know, steals it, the best thing to do is just leave it to home, guys. So, ladies, this one's just for you. Now, handbags. <laughs> do you know those big, massive handbags that you, you know, have down by your leg? Don't take one. Okay, if you've got one of the small little bags that go underneath your armpit, you might as well take that with you. It's a little tip for you guys, all right? If you have, um, uh, ladies, if you have the big bag that's, you know, hanging down here by your arse, that's more likely going to get, you know, pickpocketed or, you know, go in, getting into than if you take the small little bag, which is about that big, 
I mean, what do you actually need? That's I work on the doors, guys. I see what you guys can fit in those bags, okay? A little bag like that will do you, okay? I know that it will. Don't say that it won't, because you know it will. And I've seen you girls with those bloody bags, all right? You can fit anything into just a small little bag. You can fit your bloody kitchen into it if you wanted to. Okay then, guys. And the last tip that I'm going to give you on this video is your passports and you know IDs now your IDs obviously if you're 18 and you, if, if you're over the age if you're over the age of 18 but you do not look it take your driver's license out with you if you're going for a drink okay do not take your passport with you leave it in most of the everywhere that i've flown guys most hotels now will have a safe inside um inside the room you you might you're best off just leaving it in that okay i, I know all the stories that the safes aren't that great i can understand that but you might as well just don't take your passports out, okay? Take your ID with you because you can replace that. If you lose your passport, guys, trust me, it's going to be a big, massive edit. And that's it then, guys. Um, just a couple of tips from me, from myself because I have travelled a bit. I have been on a few holidays. I do go on my home. I, I, I do go on my home. <laughs> I do go on my own. So, you know tip number one or tip number two whichever one it was it doesn't it doesn't you know I, sh I, I shouldn't really do it but i do okay i know that i'm i know what i'm doing when i go out <laughs> sorry about that but anyway thanks for watching guys and uh, yeah i'll see you in the next one see you later